Hello, hello, hi, welcome to the Thursday, today's Thursday the 15th of August, um, I just got book mail, and I think this is from Tandem Collective because we have a new read-along loading, I actually applied for two, um, this is the second one I applied for, I don't know if we're going to get the second one, we'll see, or the other one, um, uh, oh it is, it actually is. It is, it's... Mm -hmm. Only Big Bum Bum Matters Tomorrow by Damelare Kuku. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Sorry if I murdered your name. Yeah. You can pause an old read or you can go check it out in Goodreads. Mm -hmm. I love the smell. Picador Africa. So, yes, super excited. I don't know what the reading cards are, so I'll have to go and check those once we get the Discord. Then we'll get the email and stuff. So, yeah, super exciting. Keep your eyes on the space. Goodbye. <laughs>
and something happens and la, 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 and she decides she's just gonna blurt it out because the opening was what does everybody plan to do from now onwards so after a few people gave their plans Tammy decided <laughs> that she's gonna tell them <laughs> of course the mother throws a fit it's all hysterics la, 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 very dramatic um, she's gonna move to Lagos to go live by sister and then get the bum bum implant and then recovery and then come back to wherever they are at and then go back to work because this, this whole thing is covered she's got a whole plan um, so yeah, so this is where we are. They've just been, the bombshell has just dropped and everybody has their say. And that is where we are at. Um, this is a debut novel. She's written short stories before. Um, All the Men in Lagos Mad or something. Um, but she's also a radio presenter, script writer. So... Um, as a story collection, nearly all the men in Lagos are mad. Is a short story collection, which is the first book, but this is her debut novel. Okay, so it's, it's not an anthology. It's one big story. What is it? Okay, so, 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 so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Um, and now, of course, we have a um, reading cards and and challenges and stuff, daily challenges, as always with Tandem Collective. Um, First one is easy. It's, I've been going through them. Um, they're quite difficult. I, I'm, I'm telling you, um, I don't know how I'm going to do these. But that's a problem for those days. On to today's question and challenge. So there's two parts to the daily question. I don't know why they're doing that now. There's two pieces. Um, comment on the quote about if your waist was small, or if your ass was bigger, your waist would be smaller and you'd be getting more compliments. I don't know the exact quote. Check the card. Um, comment on this point of view. Well, it's very sexist. I mean, it's what the men want. So that's what the women are doing because that's what it is. That's what you want, then so be it. If, if this is your beauty, if this is how you feel beautiful, then by all means feel beautiful. Um, but just because you don't have that doesn't mean that you are inferior because you're not attractive. This is what that implies. It's very, it's very derogatory. Um, it's, like, it's like asking people, when are you going to have children? You know, it's very offensive. People need to stop doing those kind of things. And then the second part you want to know is, do you need to tell your family? How do you feel about that? Or what could I do in that situation? Now, there's only four people in my family that actually mean anything to me right now. Uh, I would tell them because I would need support. I would need I would need a network. I would need model support, and I would need comfort support. I would need these things. Um, somebody would need to to fill in the things that I can't do, and the things that I need to do uh, in my recovery. For example, if you do this, do that, do that, whatever. Somebody will need to take care of that, so somebody will be appointed. And other than that, um, the opinions are welcome, but once I pay my mind up, that's mine. It's, it's, it's my bum bum, it's my buddy. I can do with it what I like. Um, it doesn't affect anybody else but me. So if you feel that you don't want to tell anybody, then don't tell anybody. Uh, you will have questions though when people start asking questions after seeing results But I suppose asking for forgiveness is better than asking for permission, right? And then they want us to create an aesthetically pleasing reel or a flat lay with the cover of the book So I did a TikTok and I did a cover a uh, flat lay-ish I just it's not a directly down angle, but everything is down, it's flat, so. Uh, which I will insert here.
Yo, and um, so far I'm looking forward to getting into the next bit. We are now just met her sister, Laudun. I don't know. I apologize for the pronunciation. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so let's get into that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday, the 21st of August. It's a cold day. It's been raining this morning. Um, and it's the third day of our read along. We'll only beat Bum Bum Mat tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do both day two and three now. Um, so, yeah, so, so far. Timmy wants to have a bum implant and Timmy has told her family. So now what has happened is that we have insights of what happened because she did it at her daddy's funeral <laughs> at the reading of the will or just after. Um, so the lawyer is waiting for his jolla price <laughs> and he's not getting any and everybody's being dramatic because the whole family is now going psycho because she wants to cut herself up. So now, the challenges for day two, the questions for day two, <clears throat> pardon me, um, they want to know who or what so far do you think is the cause of Timmy's madness? Well, that depends on who you ask, okay? It depends on who you ask. If you ask a mother, her mother blames herself because she forgot to cook and bake the bum bum. Because first first daughter has bum bum, second daughter has no bum bum. So it's her mother's fault. Her auntie is, the one auntie is, it's, she's demonized. The other auntie is that you deprived me of them. So I didn't have an influence on them. So um, yeah. <laughs> she blames the parents. It's, it's just a matter of perspective. So I, I don't know, but it boils down to the beautification and how men see women. Um, and she feels that, you know, she needs, if she, if she has a big bum bum, then she'll have an hourglass waist because she's got nice, but nothing there. So she wants to make it look all proportionate. It's your body. You can do with it what you like, but I mean, do not conform for man's eye is what I'm saying. If that's what you want to do, then perfectly fine. No problem. Then the second question they ask is, men want <laughs> you to be a light in their homes. Will, Ted, will Timmy succeed at being a light? What does it even mean? What does it even mean? If you want light in your home, turn the switch on. Okay. Pay your damn electricity bill. What does it even mean? Uh, uh, basically, so far we've learned that men marry women who are good in the kitchen, who are good in bed, and who know how to keep their mouth shut. Okay? Then they marry. They take mistresses that have bum bums and, and tatas and la 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 la. Okay, so they have men, plenty of mistresses. So they marry for other reasons and they screw around for other reasons. So this is, this is the sentimentality that we're getting so far. <laughs> in I don't know where they live. I don't know how to pronounce these things. So yeah, and then um, our challenge is to create a reel from Timmy's point of view. I don't know how to do that. I'm not really good at these things. There's another challenge coming out that we have to make. We have to cook the book. We have to make a recipe and cook the book. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I haven't found, I've got an idea, I haven't found the required music to go that I need. But anyway, um, I will be inserted here when I'm done. And that's the end of day two. Okay, bye. <laughs>
while I'm waiting for the water to make coffee. It's it's quiet here in the house. It's late at night. People are sleeping. It's very quiet. I absolutely love the quiet. Love, love, love. No distractions. There's no traffic noise. There's nothing. Okay, so end of day three. Um, and now we're getting some background. We're getting some of what happened before, and and we're getting into what's Tamir's way of thinking, of how she's feeling about it, and and what's going on in the head. Um, so. The question they're asking today is, for day three, is <laughs> Timmy is supposed to be a positive representation of a family in her community. Um, do we think that if she gets a BBL, a Brazilian bum lips, and get herself a big bum bum, that she will do that well, represent her family well? <gasps> Now, the thing is, this is what the community sees. This is what they value. See, they look at the mother, look at the daughters, and they see the same family. I'm not too sure about the mother. I can't remember. I don't know if the mother is flat as well, but the sister is well-proportioned. Um, and I said earlier that she has tatas, but I don't know. I think that'll come later. Okay, so she's flat like a board. <laughs> so they call her a mop stick. Mop stick. <laughs> like a broomstick. Um, they value that. So they can see this mother and the daughters, okay, that's the family representation. Well, this is what men value in certain things. This is what the women also value because that's how they get a man, how they get a husband. Um, representing the family in that way, I don't know. Why must these things reflect on other people? You are how you are. I mean, we don't get a choice in how we come out. <laughs> so, you know, people are very judgmental and that's, that's the problem. Um, and, 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 and that's part of why I think she's at this point going to get one. Because she feels she needs it. People think she needs it or don't see it. She's been, been made fun of the entire life because she has no bum. So, yeah, I don't know if she will, I, I, I don't know. I'm not one about appearances per se, um, but we'll just see, time will tell. I, I, I don't think so, a face value, at face value possibly, because then she'll look like a sister and then, la oh, yeah, same mother, same father, la 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 la, I don't know. According to, yeah. Also, on a note, okay, there was that. Um, on, a, on a side note, this book is supposed to be hilarious. Look, it's not funny. And as you count the drama, if you were like invited as a plus one to a family gathering and then the, and stuff happens and you're just sitting there with your tea, eating your popcorn, you know, um, that kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, it is funny how the people can go on. The mother, the aunties, and but it's not funny, funny. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's just me. And then for today's challenge, they want us to show off our annotation, and I don't do that. That's about as far as I get. I haven't even done any tabby taps, and and if not, we must do also maybe do a reel or a photo carousel of favorite quotes, and then add music. I'm not a music guy. Guys, I just, you know, on TikTok, I put that up there and I go next and hopefully I get something that gives me musicality and, and something that goes with what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'll just search for Nigeria. Anyway, let's see how that goes. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, I wanted to keep reading. I had to actually stop myself because I was going on. Uh, also, a second side note is I'm not a fan of where they're breaking these pages. I really am not a fan. Okay, because um, this is okay because you've got the what what there. 
the page break, chapter break. Um, yeah, and there is a part where it's broken right in the middle. And of course now I won't be able to find it for you. Like that. There's no obvious page breaks anywhere, so... I don't like that. There needs to be an obvious end. But anyway, I'm gonna continue reading and then we'll see what's gonna happen for day four. People. Welcome to a, a rainy Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah. With my schedule kind of right now and our internet restrictions, limitations, my sleep schedule is terrible. Our scenario is not fantastic. Um, I mean, we have to be, we have a bundle that will allow us to have internet between midnight and 7 a.m. Um, so, I sleep in the evening so that you know I'm awake between those hours and then I'll go sleep again in the morning and then sometimes I sleep little and sometimes I sleep a lot but it's makes you tired because you don't have a proper routine so because of this you know when we're on the internet we're connecting a computer and all our phones and stuff we're updating everything we're downloading we need to download and we need to Upload what we need to upload, and I need to like things like TikTok and finding sounds. I have to do that. It's, it's expensive on data. Um, doing my blog is all online, so typing reviews that needs to be done online. Um, so that's thing. my nephew and I are sharing a computer currently. <laughs> so if he needs to do the computer for work, then you know I have to make sure that I have nothing to do. I can only use my phone. During the day, we have data. Um, so sometimes you see me, sometimes you won't because I conserve data as much as I can. So because of this, my schedule for this readathon has been thrown out the window. Um, I've been focusing currently on doing the content, that the challenges at the end of every day. Um, and I'm up to day five. I've read up to day five as well. I did forget to record day four, which I thought I did and I didn't. So now I need to think back <laughs> to what happened in day four and then talk about this separately to day five. So this is going to be day four. Um, and I'm going to do also day five and then I'm going to do six and seven as soon as I can today, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Um, because it is currently day seven, we are almost done literally however at this point in time we are halfway through um this video also i'm editing as i'm going through is it's getting rather long now it's already over half an hour um so what we, i'm going to do is i'm going to make this a two-parter and then i'm going to end on day four which makes sense because it's the middle and then i'll make part two from day five to eight and then the overall review uh yeah so and this of course you want the video that's over an hour long? No? Didn't think so. But let me know in the comments down below anyway, for, then I know for next time if you do enjoy hour long videos, whatever. But otherwise, I'm breaking this into two. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, at the end of day three, let me have a look here. Just remind myself. 
Oh yes, we were getting more detail. Hey, coffee time. Just, just hold on. Okay. I'm gonna call my kettle, uh, Argentina, so that when she boils and I turn her off, I can say, "Don't cry for me, Argentina." You see? <laughs> I don't think you know. Okay, so that's, that's a bit hot right now. Let's cool that off a bit. Okay. <laughs> so we were getting into the story and, and of course now we need to know about everybody. Okay, so uh, we've heard from the aunties, da -la -la, but now we're basically going into the mom and the daughters into their backgrounds. So now, we, her sister, who on the other hand has, 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 has Bum Bum, uh, is, has been mistreated by it. So she feels that it's all unnecessary and la 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 la. <laughs> so she's had to defend herself. She even um, had a professor um, trying to get his way with her and so on and so forth. So she started dressing in baggy clothes to try and hide her accents. Um, the daughters, the sisters are so different because the one doesn't have and feels that she needs and the other one has and feels that she would rather not have. Um, that is, that is so true. It is it's true in other, in other scenario. I mean, I've, I've also known people who've had too much and they couldn't afford to have reduction um, and people who had too little and couldn't afford to have implants. The opposite of reduction. I don't know. So, um, definitely it is in the eye of the world. Obviously, the nicer you look, the more the men are going to look at you. Um, it's, it is a male world. That's what they do. That's, that's how men are. Um, and, and there are more men who just, you know, don't care about what people think about it because it's the norm. It's what men do. Um, I suppose this is not something you see so often. Well, you hear about it, it, make, it makes big deals in the city, but in the rural areas, I don't know. I don't know much about them. We don't hear much about those things. So that's probably how it is. And then, you know, this is what men want. So women believe that they need to be that in order to get a husband. Um, but men are fickle. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to explain it, but I'm, I'm obviously not making any sense so anyway so now we we seeing that and um the question for today day four is oh pretty privilege how do you see pretty privilege and does it affect you and la 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 well I've seen pretty privilege. It doesn't affect me. I, I mean, I've been a handsome guy. I'm getting older now. Uh, but I've never been gorgeous. People haven't given me stuff or done stuff for me because, no, you're handsome, you're pretty. Um, you hear about it like it's so handsome that they give them stuff. So pretty, so gorgeous. La, 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 la. She's a queen. Um, but also, you know, in smaller ways, you see it when men, for example, see women... This is the most typical. Let me, let's be honest. This is the most typical. Um, and then, of course, if the women use these things to their advantage, they can get very far. Um, some women have looks. Some women have body. It just, it just depends on the kind of person you are. But pretty privilege is a thing. It's been a thing for a very long time. I don't think it's going anywhere, unfortunately. Um, men will be men. Um, and then, of course, there's also the women. Women also, you know, judge other women. It's like, oh, you know, you have small bum bum. Well, what happened? La, 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 la. You're not as pretty as everybody else. These kinds of things. So women can also be harsh. It's not just a male thing. Um, but it is because of the male eye. Uh, I mean, these things wouldn't happen. I, 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 I don't know. It's both men and it's both women. It's, it's more male-dominated, though. Um, so, there's women who want to have them and need to have them. There's women who have them and don't want them. There's women who have them and use them. And there's women who don't have them and are happy um, that they 
are happy that they don't have them, are happy with who they are, the way they are. Uh, pretty privileged thing, pretty privileged does happen every day. Um, I wish, I wish I was a victim of pretty privilege. Un unfortunately, that'll never be a thing. But yeah, so there's that. And then, onto the challenge. And this is where things are getting harder. Uh, uh, we need to make a, this. If you like this, then you might like that kind of a reel or a post. Um, just one sec. Okay. Uh, which I'm not really very good at. Um, so I've seen the other my other video longers and they've got some brilliant posts up and, and they've got to go in depth and stuff and blah, 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 and do the similarities and why they think it is similar. So I was thinking, oh no, what am I going to do now? It just so happens that I don't have a lot of African literature and the ones that I do have is this one. This on my shelf and this happened to be my first tandem read along book. Um, so the only differences between these two is it's African. African literature um, and they're in rural settings and they both have powerful messages I mean I can I'm, I'm halfway through the book of this one so I know you know what they're saying there's, there's a lot of things already being said and so is this there are templates beautiful photos in here I can't really show you because of um, uh, restrictions on YouTube it's, it's nudity and stuff so yes, uh, also if you check my playlist for Tandem Collective, I have this a video about that there as well. Um, so do go check that out, my reviews are up on Goodreads. <coughs> my nose is itchy today, it's like, it's like something cold in there. Sorry, so yeah, so that's the real day. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to call this the end of part one, um, halfway through the book, on day four, oh yeah, on day four, sorry I'll cut the part out, I lost, sorry I just lost track of thought there, it's fine, I went crash, <laughs> <laughs> I need to drink my coffee. So this is the end of part one. Thank you for watching. Um, if you were part of the read-along, please let me know in the comments how you've been experiencing the read-along so far. Um, if you want to have be part of a read-along, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on, on how you feel about that. Um, and if if you've read this book, let me know what you thought. If you haven't read this book, if you have some recommendations for more African literature, you can let me know in the comments down below as well. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. And then also, you know, please subscribe. And uh, hit the like like button and share with everybody. Then go grab everybody's phone and, 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 and go to the YouTube and then subscribe as well. Thanks. Love you. See you in part two. Bye.